thing about the FIFA World Cup 2022, which starts Sunday. And a local soccer legend is the man behind a huge celebration in Edo, where Houston fans can gather throughout the tournament. Yeah, we're talking about former Houston Dynamo star player and owner of Pitch 25, Brian Ching, joins us now with more on uh, this four-week-long viewing party. Good to see you again, man. Yeah, thank you. Thanks hey, for having buddy. me. It's been a minute since we've had you on Houston Life, but I know we're going to see you on Sports Sunday uh, with Randy yeah. coming up. So yeah. let's chat about uh, the the big event because four weeks is a long time to host a party, Brian. Yeah, yeah you know what? I, when I got into it, I was like, ah, this is a great idea. And then I was thinking, well, this is like a 23 day festival, right? <laughs> and I, not knowing a lot that goes into it. But anyway, we're ready. We're kind of transforming our space. We're shutting down the street in between us, the parking lot across the street. We're going to put up a big screen. We've got container bars coming out there. We're going to have food trucks. We're going to have cornhole games out there. It's going to be a festive atmosphere, just like the World Cup. And with the, the time difference, too, I mean, we're talking early morning is when things kind of get rolling out there through the afternoon. I know some key games are at 1 o'clock, but it actually starts, what, set around 7 o'clock in the morning, right? Yeah, so um, most games will start at 7. You know, we're only opening up the street fest during certain hours where we think the big games are going to be the U.S. games, the Mexico games, some England games, yeah. uh, Brazil. So it, it's kind of limited hours on the street fest, but Pitch 25 will be open from from start to finish for all for all the games except for the 4 a.m. Games. Oh, okay. <laughs> so for those diehard fans, and it's great seeing video of this space. If you haven't been to Pitch 25, get on down there. Perfect venue to watch the game uh, with some of your closest fan friends out there. But you're for real, Brian. Starting at 7 a.m., you will be open serving coffee <laughs> or <laughs> no, beer. Coffee. We'll have food there, drinks, uh, obviously for people because, you know, it, it is a celebration of sport and uh, people are going to come out and party and have a good time. It was one of my favorite experiences about the World Cup is just seeing the diversity that descends upon the city when I went uh, in uh, Germany and you get to see people from all over. So one day it's the French fans, one day it's the Brazilian fans, yeah. the American fans, the U.S., uh, the Mexican fans. And, you know, that just such an amazing thing when you see that, especially in our city, because we have such a that diversity that you see that uh, day in and day out at pitch for the World Cup. I think that's really cool. The great career he had, he, he wore the, 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 the USA jersey in the World Cup. Man, that uh, says a lot right there. I want to ask you a question, too. And there's a video right there from your Dynamo <laughs> days, the, the younger Back Brian the day, Ching. Yeah, the <laughs> younger guy. <laughs> hey, I want to ask you because it, the World Cup starts, and uh, Derek and I know you and Courtney have talked about it, too. I mean, the World Cup is coming here in four years. Houston will be a host city. This is a nice buildup. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be a small taste of what it's going to be like for um, the, the entire city, right? Just our little party is going to be a little bit of taste of everything and what's to come because, you know, I, like I said, the, the world kind of de descends upon your city. And it, yeah. for your normal Houston fan that won't be able to, that doesn't know what the World Cup experience is or ha doesn't have the means to get to one, you know, for it to be here and for them to be experienced that firsthand is going to be truly amazing. And I think it's going to be a once in a lifetime thing, you know, for a lot of these people because, you know, for me it was a once in a lifetime experience just to, to, to kind of be in an environment. I think everybody should be able to kind of feel that festivity, mm -hmm. and that um, the happiness that or the, the closeness that sports can, can bring. And Brian, I think it's so cool that the sport that you know and that you love and you play so well is getting this time in the spotlight. All eyes worldwide will be on Houston a few years from now. And I feel like soccer is finally finally having a moment mm -hmm. here because it's, it's been one of those slow burn sports in the U.S. Definitely in the U.S., you know, and I think one of the things is, is the consistency of having a professional league. And now that we've had it for about 20, 25 years, you know, you're kind of starting to see the kids that kind of grew up watching it. They're the parents now, and they're taking their kids to the games and things like that. So it's it's kind of becoming more generational and more ingrained. And, and we're an immigrant society, and especially here in Houston, we're, we're from all over the world. We're one of the most diverse cities. And so, you know, soccer is kind of big and, and continuing to right. grow here. Okay, you have that soccer ball in your hand. It's not just a problem. We can't let him loose without uh, oh, okay. learning we'll see, a little we'll bit of something, what right? Kind of skills you guys have. Okay, yeah. so yeah. Producer not very BG's many, I can tell you that. <laughs> All right, is brought in a couple extra balls, and you're going to show us some what basic moves? Yeah. So first, you know, juggling something you can do by yourself. So what I, I started off when I was Here a little kid was just with just your knee. So one catch. Oh, oh <laughs> Randy, <laughs> fail. There we go. All right, then you go one, two, I'll be back. Catch. <laughs> there you go. You go one, <laughs> two, three, four. So okay. Let's keep going. <laughs> I'm falling apart, oh, guys. An advanced <laughs> move. All right. And then, right, like, like I tried on the teaser, we could do headers. You know. All right. Or you can try okay. one and catch it. 
Uh, I don't know if <laughs> you guys are there, there, there you go, there you got two. Wow, that is way harder two. than it looks. All right, then we can go down to our feet and just do simple, easy back and forth. All right, I like so these. We can do that. Yeah, so yeah. kind of like what we call like a little TikTok. <laughs> there you go. Randy's a fan of, yeah, uh, of the TikTok, right? Oh yeah, big fan. <laughs> Randy, uh, <laughs> a little stiff. But a little we got stiff. It. <laughs> you know what? The, the uh, control. It seems the name of the game is control because, especially with the knees, yeah. how do you keep it from you know? doing what we did, flying away. Well, it's just practice, really. Right? Yeah, I mean, mine went flying over that yeah, direction yeah. immediately. So if you drop yeah. it too low, it's going to shoot forward. You're too yeah. high, you're going to hit yourself in the face. <laughs> hey, that, that's pretty okay, good. Okay, one, yeah. two, three. We'll leave it at that. We'll yeah. practice during the commercial break. Brian Shank, thank you so much. Thank you, guys. Good to see you, man. Yeah, we'll see Sports see Sunday you. this weekend. Hey, for a link to connect with Brian, uh, click on the Scene on Houston Life section of our website. Check it out, HoustonLife.tv. And in the meantime, we're going to be working, Randy, on those moves. Just a Thank you bit, very right? much. Yeah. We did okay. We did okay. All right, still ahead on Houston Life. One of our favorite holidays.